because you have accountants, lawyers, financial guys, uh, industry experts picking it apart. Then you're going to go to accountants and lawyers, like top-notch firms, and try and get them on delayed fees. And it's fucking possible. I've done it, and many others have done it. So the fact that people say you can't do that is fucking bullshit. But the thing is, it takes, it's going to take a lot of presentations. Even if you're a smooth guy and you have a great sales background and credentials like myself, uh, you know, it, it checks a box for them maybe, but they're not going to want to work with you because of your credentials. They're going to want to work with you because of the vision that you pitched them on, the passion and enthusiasm that you have for it, and them knowing that, hey, this is a horse I can bet on that's going to fucking win. We just finished a webinar with uh, one of the QLA mentees who is uh, in his uh, eighth month since the seminar. Um, I believe he was here in February. Uh, he's finished his board, etc. cetera. Uh, accountants and lawyers on a successful basis. And he's just moved from Boston to Washington, D.C., uprooted, he and his wife uprooted their lives and went to Washington, D.C. because that's where the hub of the industry that he is focused on is going to is in Washington, D.C. That's where it is. So he's moved there. And um, the, uh, you ask questions, not the similar questions that, that you're probably going to ask all the other people to. Um, 95, no, no. 98% of the questions you asked weren't worth a shit. Maybe 100. <coughs> They're, they're of no consequence. And he said in a nice way, you're focusing on, you know, I'm telling you, the, not so much in a nice way, I'm just telling you the hard-ass truth. Uh, there might have been one question, I forget who, that made some rhyme or reason why you'd ask it. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And um, the... Uh, if you had read all the things I told you to read before you came here, there'd be 50, 60 percent, 70 percent less questions than you've asked. If you had read and assimilated it, if you had read all the free content on my website, you'd have no questions and assimilated it. Zero questions. And like I say, 99.99% of the people that have succeeded with QLA, I've never met, and they've only got free content. Uh, and, and years ago, it wasn't free. I went from the most expensive shit on, on the internet to free. <laughs> you know, and, and I'm glad I did it. I wish I'd done it before, if I'd thought about it. But, you know, smart as I am, you know, the, the, some of these things... Uh, only fall into place after I see the struggles. And it, it hated, I hate it, like I told the Oxford kids. Why do you give everything away free? Because I want to take the last possible fucking excuse for the meatheads. Well, Dan shit is too expensive. I can't do it. The last possible excuse. Dan shit is too expensive. I don't know if the book sold, but there's used copies of my book, Your First Hundred Million, on sale at Amazon. Is it Amazon you sell the shit? No, no. Yeah. yeah. $9,000. $9,000 for the book. In pristine condition, I'm told. I don't know what that means, pristine. Uh, but I would imagine good condition. Um, but most of the stuff that you ask, and just, just as most of the stuff that the kids ask on the YouTube channel, uh, don't mean your shit. It tells me, you know, one, they didn't read anything, all the free content, and two, they're not serious. They're not serious. When I used to be around Costa Grazos and the guys that I had the privilege of uh, being with, I mean, I hung on every motherfucking word they said. It's like sitting at the feet of, of, of the, the, 
the, the foot of uh, Buddha, Allah, Christ, whoever. I hung on every fucking word they said. And, uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and they all said it was hard. No, but none of those guys told me it was easy. They didn't, weren't as emphatic as I am about it. It's a motherfucker. Your wife's going to leave you. Your children will hate you. They didn't say that part. <clears throat> but they said it was hard. Every single one of them did. Uh, and uh, the, um, and, but, uh, of course, they weren't trying to sell me anything. There was no upsell, you know. Um, but, it, and like he said, it's hard. He didn't say it was easy. <clears throat> and he says, you know, there's going to be less people because you'll go by the wayside. But even the guys that go by the wayside uh, are better off because they've used it, unfortunately, in my opinion, within their comfort zone. They picked, you know, I'll have the Sichuan, I have this, that, off the Chinese menu, the things that they felt easiest doing. But they were still better off it, as opposed to if they have never um, tried QLA out. Uh, and some of the things they tried, and they got a bad taste in the mouth, it's like, having uh, Chinese food that's too hot. I like hot, so I like to perspire when I eat Chinese food. Uh, not a lot of people like that, but um, I'm, uh, I, I'm the kind of person that will, as I've told you earlier today, that I'll try just about anything. Um, so, um, well, I mean, what was your takeaway from uh, Dennis, if any? I'm sorry. Just get started. You're never alone. Mm -hmm. Keep passionate. And that's the message he's given to his board. He's got some crackerjack fucking guys on his board. Um, and he had to bite his tongue when he was in grad school because he just got out of grad school in May when high and lofty uh, best-selling professors are telling him you can't get success fees. I mean, you know, he wants to get out. He wants his degree. So I just, I just see, keep your fucking mouth shut. But that's what, what he said. That's why... The, you heard the vindictiveness. He says, when the first tombstone, the first deal we do, I'm going to send it to him and say, fuck you. <laughs> because every day we have this success feast. Yes? Um, why did you tell him to finish his MBA? Was it just for the because he only had 13 weeks. <laughs> he had spent a year and a half there. He was on a, um, a, a veteran thing, you know, uh, they uh, pay, help you go to grad school, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. And I mean, why put a black mark? Plus, you have to pay the fucking money back if you didn't finish. That's, you know, and I think it was 170 grand or something. So, uh, but he was going to just walk away from it. So, um, he did the right thing. And uh, like I tell the kids, you know, the come that, well, I mean, even in high school, I say, graduate from high school. You got six months left, graduate from high school. Graduate from college, you know, if you're there. But don't start up again. I mean, because uh, I get asked all the time, should I uh, get my MBA? Should I go this? Or, um, and, I, and I almost always say no, maybe one or two times, because one of the kids said, you know, he may want to go back and teach. So I say, okay, fine. And you can do this in the military. We'll talk about that. So it's not germane to anybody else, but we'll talk about it. And I've got, a, I've got a, uh, another Marine, or not, a Marine who came with Goins, uh, who was an Air Force guy, two seminars ago, or one seminar ago, I forget, who's doing it. Uh, and it is possible. You've got some constraints, though. You've got to make sure that you're not in violation of a lot of horse shit. Um, and now, apparently now there's even more horse shit than it used to be. So you you, you got to be aware of that. What else? What else about Dennis? I knew the answer before I asked it, but I I guess I just wanted to hear it from someone who's out there. Just that fucking enthusiasm for getting that board together. They're gonna jump on board your enthusiasm. Yeah. Yeah, and he is he is enthusiastic, and he and he takes his shit serious. He takes his shit serious, and um, the um, and he's a good kid. Okay, YouTube. Ciao.